Next week's episode will be really short. And next week's episode will. Be- next week's episode will. Be- <laughs> Hello everyone and welcome to the 2-5 guide. This may be the shortest guide of the series, so let's jump into it. First, if you haven't already, drop in player 2. With Indy, you want to run to the right and kill the two furthest right enemies, and you want to kill the rest of them with short round. After you've killed the two enemies with Indy, go to the lever by the dynamite. If one of the enemies follows you to the lever, ignore him with short round and go to the left. Pull the lever with Indy and then punch the enemy if there is one. Pick up the dynamite and throw it at the pile. You might have to move the camera right, depending on short round's position, to make sure this locks on. Build the cart with Indy and build the track with short round, then pick up the wrench when you're done. Now go towards Indy a short round, and it should line up the timings as Indy finishes the build. You can now fix the cart with short round and go to the left with Indy. Wait by this rock for short round to push the cart to this point, and then you can whip the bar on the left and put it in place. Then continue to push the cart with short round and switch to Willy. Go to the left and get onto this pile of metal, jump directly up onto the platform and follow along the wall. Wait with Willy until the studs come out here, then pull the lever and jump across to the orange platform. Somehow on this tiny level there is a strat split. For strat 1, wait on the fence till this bar lowers, then jump outwards looping around onto the bar. Then, sticking as left as possible, walk over the gap. And for strat 2, don't do the jump and just drop to the floor following the casual route. Strat 1 saves a couple of seconds and strat 2 is what you do if you miss strat 1 or if you're not that good at it. The jump isn't even that hard, so just stop being a baby and actually practice it. Okay, push the cart and the cutscene will trigger. Now for the next room, you want to hit the red button in the middle, then the left, and the right. Speaking of red buttons, while we watch this riveting gameplay, consider hitting the glorious red button just below this video. Go on, you know you want to. And for the next room, the sequence is left, left again, and you want to wait until the orange levers are about to go off screen, then hit one of them, and this will make sure the track switch for the next lap, with no stress of you hitting it too late. If you do miss it, make sure you get it there early next time. If you did hit it too early, then you'll end up going left, and you'll have to hit it again next time. So assuming everything went well, hit the red button on the right. And now it's time to address the elephant of the room, soft locks. This level is the most infamous soft locker in the run. There are three possible soft locks to look out for, all of which are completely RNG and unavoidable. Well, that's as far as anyone knows, anyway. The most common one is the final button in the final room. Essentially, the target just doesn't appear on this last button. This is also the most infuriating one, as it is a certain run reset, as you have to leave the level and do the whole thing again, and that's around two and a half minutes of time loss. The next worst one is where the minecarts just stop, and I'll let Frost Fox demonstrate this one. What? Hey, hey! Hold the game! Oh, no, not now! This is, this is not okay! <laughs> Finally, the least worst one. The lever in the first room doesn't work. This loses the least time out of the three, and depending on how your run's going, you may be able to keep going if this happens. One thing you can do to limit the damage is to check the lever at the start of the level, and if there are sparks, you have to reset. You can do this if you're super paranoid, but I've literally only seen this happen to Wii Super a handful of times and never to anyone else, so it really isn't worth worrying about. Okay, so assume you didn't soft lock, hit the final button, and the level is over. I'm not going to make any promises about the next one, but it should be out next week, so see you guys hopefully next week.